Hello guys, uh, welcome back to school. I hope you had a great vacation. Um, I'm recording this video to um, give you a brief introduction about Unit 3. Welcome back to school. In this uh, PowerPoint, we're going to be discussing some stuff like um, the, an overview of the unit, how we express ourselves, uh, a reminder of the IB system, and uh, the learning expectations of this unit, and the ways of communication in the parents' role. Before we start, there is a very, very important concept that I would like you guys to be familiar with, which is the agency. Students' agency. Agency means that you guys are responsible for your own learning. You have voice, choice, and ownership. You're responsible for the learning process. And I'm a leader. I guide you through the process, but you are responsible for the learning. You have voice. What's the meaning of that? It means that your voice must be heard. Your opinions, your ideas, your decisions must be heard and taken into consideration. So that's the voice. You have an opinion, you have a say, you have a voice. Choice, it means that you co-construct the learning goals. You engage, you engage, in, engage in the, uh, uh, with your perspectives in the uh, learning process. You, you have choice in what you learn and what you don't learn. And finally, ownership. Ownership means students define their own learning goals and they are, um, uh, their ideas are supported throughout the unit. So, briefly, agency means that you guys are responsible for your own learning and always remember that you have voice, choice, and ownership. Okay, now let's move on to the IB Learner Profile. Of course, we're all familiar with it. We've been discussing them over and over again through the past uh, two units. The IB Learner Profile are attributes or qualities that you need to have by the end of each unit. There are 10 IB Learner Profile attributes. You, you guys need to, be, to learn how to be inquirers, knowledgeable, thinkers, communicators, principled, open-minded, caring, risk-takers, balanced, and finally, reflective. So these are very important concepts in, uh, in the IB system. Uh, and we're going to be working on two or three of them in each unit. Of course, you're already familiar with that. Now let's discuss our unit, how we express ourselves. Now, uh, our unit is going to be mainly about media. The central idea of the unit is how media and advertising influences our choices and our lives. Now, we're going to be discussing this central idea throughout the unit in all subjects, in English, in social studies, in um, Arabic, in uh, math and ICT, in all subjects. Uh, what exactly are, what are we going to be discussing? We're going to be discussing the forms of media. I mean, what is media and what are its types? The effects of advertising on people's lives, how advertising affects our lives, and the purpose of advertising. Why do people advertise for products and services? We're going to be focusing on two uh, of the learner profile attributes, which are risk takers and inquirers. So throughout this unit, you guys need to be risk takers and you need to be inquirers. You need to ask a lot of questions. And also we're gonna be focusing on certain skills like thinking and research skills. All right. Um, these are the expectations. What are we expected to learn by the end of this unit? We have listening, speaking, writing, reading, and visual language, viewing and presenting. We have a lot of expectations here that we're gonna be working on and assessing throughout the unit. What about the expectations of the social studies? By the way, these are the expectations of English. Now, the expectations of social studies are, we're gonna learn about media. What is media and what are the types of media? We're also gonna be learning about advertising and the different ways by which companies can advertise for their products and services. 
and we will also learn about the positive and the negative effects of advertising on our lives how advertising and how media affects our lives whether positively or negatively all right let's move on to the parents role now i know that your parents always give you support and encouragement and they always participate with us whenever needed uh, and um, one word to the parents that we really, really appreciate if you would read with, with your child daily. Reading with your child daily would drastically enhance his reading and, and writing skills and his language skills. So I really recommend that. I'm going to be giving you guys um, a reading, a novel to read. We're going to be reading two chapters of this, of this novel each, um, each week. And uh, I highly recommend that you guys read with your uh, kids this novel and other reading passages that we're gonna take. And finally, here are the ways of communication. Of course, we can, we are able to communicate through a lot of portals. We have booklets, we have our, our online platform, which is Lenovia. We have the online Zoom sessions and we have the beginning of the unit letters. Beginning of the unit letters are letters that we post on Lernovia by the beginning of each unit that has everything that we need to know about the unit, everything that we're gonna learn in all of the subjects throughout the unit. Materials covered every two weeks. We post every two weeks the materials that were covered uh, through the past two weeks. Uh, events, of course, events are on hold right now because of the corona situation, but eventually they will happen after we come back to school. And uh, you're always welcome to um, call the reception of the school or the head of the department or the stage coordinator and um, um, to talk to them about any concerns that you might have. And also you can arrange meetings with uh, the teachers through the reception. And by the end of each trimester, we have a parents meeting that we can discuss everything uh, during. All right, uh, that would be it. That's a brief introduction to the unit. Thank you very much, guys, and um, we will talk later. Thank you.